Many banks in China have been in the spotlight for enlisting debt collectors to handle the growing amount of bad debt, as reported by NTD. Sanxiang Bank's annual report indicates that the bank's bad debt ratio in 2023 was 1.75 percent. This is a 0.22 percentage point increase from the end of 2022. This also marks the highest level since the bank was established. In 2023, Sanxiang's overdue loan balance was 1.341 billion yuan. Which increased by 520 million yuan compared to the previous year. The overdue loan rate is 3.61 percent, marking an increase of 1.16 percentage points compared to the end of the previous year. On March 19th, Jiujiang Bank issued a performance forecast stating that its net profit in 2023 is expected to decline by at least 30 percent year over year. At the end of September last year, Jiujiang's bad debt balance was 6.868 billion yuan. With a bad debt ratio of 2.27 percent, on May 31st, Sanxiang Bank posted a recruitment notice for debt collection staff. The job description includes collecting information, closely monitoring, and strongly urging delinquent customers to repay their debts. Everbright Bank also issued a recruitment notice for telephone debt collectors on June 3rd. WeBank announced on May 29th that it too would hire debt collectors. The Economist quoted several academics on March 27th. Warning that problem loans by banks in China would continue to accumulate over time. They're like bombs. Once detonated, the consequences are unimaginable.